Known for its giant ancient trees, Redwood National Park is a fascinating place to explore. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and today we share this Redwood National Park travel guide so that you can plan a trip with ease. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, let's look at when to visit. So summer is high season in Redwood National Park, with most visitors heading here in June, July or August. The temperature is warm and because of the large size of the park, it rarely feels crowded. Although summer is a great time to visit, it can be foggy, whilst fall offers milder temperatures and is a beautiful time to visit, but just remember to bring layers and a raincoat. So now let's look at getting there. So the park is located in Northern California, around a six hour drive from both San Francisco and Portland, making it the ideal weekend trip from both cities. Most visitors will fly into a major airport and then rent a car and drive to the park as the local airports are small with limited and expensive flight options. So now let's look at how it is organized. So Redwood National Park is a little confusing. Unlike other national parks, Redwood is a unique partnership between three California state parks and one national park. Together, these parks protect half of the world's redwoods across nearly 40,000 acres of forest which leads us on to entrance fees. So the Redwoods National Park is free to enter, but the free California state parks do charge a state park entry fee in some areas. However, those with an American The Beautiful National Park Pass will not be charged for their visit. Also, there are certain holidays during the year which offer free entry as well. So now let's look at where to stay. So unlike other national parks in the US, Redwood National and State Parks don't offer lodges or hotels inside the park boundaries. To stay in the park itself, you will need to stay at one of the four campgrounds, which can be reserved on the Reserve California website. So when you are planning a trip here, you can drive through the National Park in actually around 25 minutes if you stick to the 101. But if you drive the Avenue of the Giants, it will take around two and a half hours, including time for a walk around the woods and a picnic stop. We recommend planning at least two days to visit Redwood, especially if you are hoping to take some scenic drives and hikes. Let's look at the things to do. So Redwood National Park has a lot of gorgeous nature to offer. Hikers will love the Tall Trees Grove hike, taking you through the glorious giant trees and ending at huge maple trees. You could also visit the stunning Fern Canyon, a 50 foot canyon covered in ferns and a filming location for Jurassic Park 2, or take the shorter Lady Bird Johnson Trail through the groves. Watch this video to find out the things to know before you visit Redwood National Park. Then to plan the perfect USA road trip, watch this video. Have a wonderful time at the park and stay creative.